Todd Abrams is naked ambition. Todd Abrams wants to go to the top. Um, Todd Abrams is ruthless. I think that I'm a very good social person because of my mother. I think that I'm a very good publicist because of her. The uh, Todd Abrams, the known Saturday Night Fever, hairhead. He'll be bald another year. I'm very comfortable with the fact that I'm gay. And it's a well known fact here. Everyone knows it. And I'm very comfortable with that. And that was a big thing for me. That was a big part of figuring out who I was, was becoming comfortable with the fact that I was gay. Stop embarrassing me. Oh, you look just like your father. <laughs> Tell us how well you're doing in your apartment rental business, Todd. Dad, I'm very affluent out there. Uh huh. When do you think about your marriage to Susan? Have you had any thoughts regarding that matter? I think that this is on record, so I'm going to go down and say that I'm very happy and very thrilled to uh -huh. be marrying one of the most lovely young debutantes in the Philadelphia area. Does she have any money? <laughs> what is it, Father? Well, what do you think what, about what, your New York? What would you like to have? My relationship with my sister Jill is, um, I feel like I'm her older brother. I feel a little responsible for her. I love her very much. Jill understands me and we, we have a very similar sense of humor. Um, and that's something that's very comforting to me. I think that Jill and I sometimes look at one another and we feel that it's us against the rest of these idiots that we live with here in, uh, in LA. You know, she's her own person. And you know, and that's a frustrating thing because I can, I'm so controlling, and I really want to control her and make her do what I want her to do, and it hasn't worked yet. <laughs> Not everybody can be like me as much as I would kind of want everybody to be like me. What you're wearing is gorgeous. It's very expensive. As a matter of fact, um, you know how you usually start your conversation. <laughs> it's very expensive. You think that puts people off a little bit. Do I care? I mean, it's like, and people always look at me and think, what are you wearing? I go, it's very expensive. <laughs> this shirt costs more than you make in a month. Um, you must be so well received. I think that I'm very well liked. I think oh, most people yeah. like me. Does this look good? Is this better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, George and I love each other very much. We always will. He's, he's a wonderful, wonderful guy. Mm -hmm. I'm actually um, an atheist. I don't believe in God. But I, I, or at least in the traditional God that we have. But interestingly, I do believe that my son should be bar mitzvah. I'd like him to have a sense of Judaism. George and I decided we were gonna have a baby. Uh, we went to a lot of people, paid a mountain of money. And what we were able to do was we were able to, we took embryos from both of us, put them in a woman, shook it up, and out our son came. Tell the camera how you came into the world, how I sat on you when you were an egg. That didn't happen. Really? What happened then? I came out of a lady's stomach. My stomach? You came out of my stomach, remember? No, you're not a lady. <laughs> you sure about that? Who do you like better, me or Papa? Papa. <laughs> Tell us why you like Papa better. I want to know. He's nicer. Okay. <laughs> I think that's fair. Good. Throw you. Do it as high as you did before. All right. Why am I always bad cop? Because you're bad. <laughs> I'm a bad. What do you mean by that bad? Bad. Look how cute he is. Look at look how cute he is. Shows everybody like your bigger as. He is a darling ah. child. Ethan, do you play any instruments? Um, I'm gonna. What are you gonna play? Drums. Oh God, you'll be playing that with your other family, your foster family. 
<laughs> in Fresno. That'd be nice. Wait, you're gonna be a father next week? Yeah. No, I don't think so. My mind, I'm out of it. Got a bottle of Jack, time to drown in it. I made it here, but don't know how I did. My blog is about a father willing to sell his soul to the devil in the city of angels for the benefit of his son. Um, it is about giving so much of yourself and it's about losing oneself but also gaining so much insight into yourself. It's an historical record of what went on but it's written in this very pithy sort of bitchy way. I'd say the best part of fatherhood <laughs> that I was on, it was unexpected was the relationship that I would have with my son. Oh, that it, it would actually turn out to be fun. <laughs> oh, you're so white. Hey. You're like clear, you're white. Hey. You have everything that a guy could want. What a handsome kid. Now, is this my good side, Joel? The thing that's changed for me is that I'll always be your son, but I'm not that little boy anymore. And um, I'm happy that you're proud of me. That means a lot to me. But I love you both very much. And um, I'll see you soon. My mother has always been my best friend.